<laughs> go into that. But we did want to talk about this. Will come out, of course, after the blank, blank finish. Uh, win the, the big su- game, David. Yeah, win the Super Bowl. Uh, <gasps> Gonna get sued. Oh, NFL's um, gonna kill Rod. Goodell's knocking our door. So who do you think's gonna win? First and foremost. Um, honestly, who I think? I don't know. They're both very good teams. I, I Who do you want to win? If you were to if I were if I had a hundred bucks to put on it, I would say the Patriots. Yeah, of course. But I don't want them to win. Yeah, I want nobody the does. To win. Nobody wants the right? Patriots to win. But they're um, just so freaking Only good. Bostonites want the freaking Patriots yeah. to win. Um yeah, so anyways, we wanted to talk about the Super Bowl. We we did this last year. We I, I think the Falcons are actually going to win. I, I want them to win, and I think they're going to win, but if I had money, I wouldn't put it on. I exactly. I See, that's bet. what I'm saying. Like, I, I want the Falcons to win, but if I had money. But I actually think there's a really good chance that they're going to win because they beat my Packers. But anyways, I, mean, I wanted Packers to do something terrible. funny with this because we didn't... What? Shut up. We beat the Cowboys. That was our Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Um, so anyways, we wanted to do a thing where we're going to... Um, because you have those jelly beans from Harry Potter. Yeah. yeah. So the Every fun, flavor. Yeah. The fun thing that we're going to do here is we're going to do some entertainment bet prop or prop bets that you can do on the Super Bowl, and then whoever has for each one that we get wrong, we have to eat a jelly bean next week. Okay, all right, all right. So we'll start. The, the, if you don't know what prop, <laughs> but what do we can get wrong? If you're because like, we can both get them wrong. No, then we both have to eat one. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not like Price is Right rules closest to. No, definitely oh, not. Man. Okay, so these are inter- it's, if you don't we're know what, get all these wrong. Yeah, if you don't know what prop bets are, <laughs> that's the like, whole point of prop bets well, to, they, is to get the wrong. No, I know, but these are like in addition to betting on the game, you can actually I think you can technically bet on these. No, no, yeah, all of them. Um, and these are some of these are ridiculous. So we'll go through them and just kind of laugh about them. So the first one is how many times will Donald Trump be said on TV during the broadcast? Jesus, hopefully zero. Under, over, one and a half. Uh, over. Over. I say under. I say, are you going to write all these down after? You're going to list, re-listen to this? Yeah, right I got it. it. Okay, so you're right. so this is good. I say I say you say under. Yeah, and I say over one and a half. They're gonna, no, no. I say over, over. You said under. No, no. I think under. Granted, the, it is on Fox, so maybe <laughs> <laughs> maybe they're required to say it. Um, okay, so that's the first one. So I say under one and a half. Okay, I say over. Okay, next one is uh, how many? T- no, no, no. I don't want to do that. One's stupid. Okay, here, here goes. Um, Will quote Houston? We have a problem. End quote. Be said on the TV broadcast during the live during the live broadcast of the show. Houston, we have a problem because it's being played in Houston. If you don't, know. Uh, yes or no? Yes. Really? Yeah. Why not? I say that's a clear no. Okay. All right. All right. That seems kind of silly. If Houston was playing in Houston, then that would make sense. Okay. Uh, what color will Lady Gaga's hair be when she comes out? On stage for the halftime show. Now, when she comes out, because it could change in the middle of the show. <laughs> it's Lady Gaga in the middle, middle of the halftime show. But let's say, what color will it be? Will it be? Here's the two choices: oh, okay. blonde or any other color. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say, Gerald? What do you? I'm say? gonna go with any other color. So you don't think it'll be blonde? No, I think I'm with you there. There's no way. It's the Super Bowl, man. If you're gonna get your crazy out, do it now. Yeah. I mean, she's already you think meat suit. I don't know. It'll be a suit completely made out of like leather footballs. There Veggies now because you know yeah, she already did the meat thing. Okay, so we're both on the same page on that one. Okay, which song? Speaking of Lady Gaga, will she play first during the halftime show? Will it be "Born This Way"? Do you know that song? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, ba- <laughs> just, How dare I- you? <laughs> How dare you question my Lady Gaga knowledge? <laughs> Bad Romance, Poker Face, or uh, Poker Face, Just Dance, or any other song. So all any other. So well, I would say I would assume she would play her like new stuff, right? Right. First, and then end with her really popular stuff. So I'm gonna say any other song. No, no way. She's got to start out with Poker Face. That's sure. like the one she's known for. That was the one. Po- she's po- known po- for a lot poker. of songs. No, she's that, super popular. That song more in particular than. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> no. No, it's gotta be it's gotta be poker face. All right, so you're saying any other song, and I say poker face. All right, all right. right. Uh, let's see how many. T- <laughs> this one's ridiculous because we always joke about this when we watch football. How many times will JJ Watt be mentioned on the TV <laughs> broadcast? The under over is. It depends if he goes to the game. Oh, and he's a Texan, yeah. So so one. Will he be mentioned more than once? It's one and a half. So will you? Will he be mentioned at least two times or less than once? Or less than yeah. I'm gonna say he will be mentioned over. More than one and a half times. Now, if he, do you think? Because I don't. Usually, when they do these broadcasts, they usually like during like a some point in the game, they'll bring somebody up in the booth to talk about the game. So you think he would be the person? Because he didn't play this whole year, pretty much. Um, I don't know about that, but I think he'll like be in a box and they'll look at him and be like, "Oh, there's JJ Watt and his family. Uh, JJ Watt didn't play, and I win." You know okay, what I mean? So two times. All right, all right. So you say yes, I say no. Okay. All right. How many times will quote deflate end quote or quote <laughs> deflate gate end quote be said on the TV broadcast? Now this is interesting. The under over is two and a half, so they they would have to say it. I'm gonna raise that because that seems really low. I'm gonna say three and a half. It's got to be said at least four times to get the over. 
No way, man. Go by this. No, 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 no. no. We have something to refer to. Okay, all right. Two and a half. So two and a half. How many times? I say over for sure. I say over. Yeah, they're going to talk about that the whole time, especially yeah. if the Patriots are killing it. Like they, it's funny. They asked they asked Tom Brady like, "Oh, do you are you going to feel awesome when Goodell hand is? What are you going to say to him when he hands <laughs> I, you the trophy?" I did hear like a lot of people are saying like, "I don't want the Patriots win, but I want Goodell to hand Brady the trophy." And First of all, the whole thing is ridiculous. Stupid, what yeah. they got him for, like. They won by a, like thirty points in that game. Like you could have the ball, you could have a baseball, and I still would have beat you. Um, okay, so we both say over on that. So not very exciting on that time. Okay, how many times will Giselle Bunchen be shown on the TV broadcast during the dur- uh, on the TV during the broadcast? Under over one and a half. I don't really care. What do you say, she- David? I say over because it's over. Giselle. Come on, and, no, 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 but it's She's his wife. She's going to be there in the box watching the game. So. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, these are now more just, um, <laughs> these are just like, will people score touchdowns and stuff like that? Let's see. Um, first half spread. Um, do you think, okay. Will, do you think the Patriots will be winning by more than two points by the half? That's basically what this is. Yes or no? Um, will the Patriots be winning by, by more than one and a half points? Yes. Okay. Cause I think they're going to win. Yeah. Same here. I don't want them to win, though. But are um, we going to do the jelly bean thing? It's like, I think they're going to win. You think the Falcons are going to win? Yeah, that's another one that we'll right, do. Cool. Um, let's see. <laughs> see Just these, to be clear. These, these, these are, the rest of these are kind of, these are like actual. Yeah, we don't care. I know there was that thing last year, right, where it was like, um, there's always like a prop bet where if the first play ends in a safety for a touchdown, right, you can bet on that. Yeah, but they'll give like a bunch and didn't of, that happen last year? Yeah, I don't know if it was the first play, but yeah, it was like, I think everybody had to give away a bunch of tacos or pizza or something. Yeah, isn't like. ridiculous? I know right? it's if they run it back in the first thing, then like everything does that. Oh, here, here you go. Will there be a flea flicker attempt in the game? Yes or no? Which one is that? That's where they hand the ball off to the running back, and then the running back literally turns around and throws it, hands it back to the quarterback, and then the quarterback throws a pass. No. Well, you say no? No. I think so. Why not? Bring it on. Which here, one of these teams are, uh, have done that? No, the Detroit. Patriots have done it. They did it last game. Huh. So you say no? I, say I didn't really yes. watch a lot of the postseason, so. Okay. Um, and let's see what else we've got. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to see here. Okay. What will be... See, these are ridiculous. Who will have... <clears throat> the rest of these How many are, jelly beans are going to eat? No, the rest of here is just kind of ridiculous. It's like, how? who will have a higher number? Phil Mickelson's fourth round score? They're now they're like All bringing right, in... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, this is ridiculous. Let me see if there's anything else. Um... Uh, okay, who will win the okay who who will win the who will win the Super Bowl MVP mention first? So whoever the MVP is, who will get the first mention? One, God. Two, some teammate or a team. They'll say the word my team or my teammates. Three, coach or <laughs> one of this says Donald Trump. Please God, <laughs> that I can't. <laughs> That's twenty to one odds on that. Um, and then just anybody else. So what do you think? God, team or teammates? Coach. Team teammates, same thing? Yeah, same thing. I'm or Donald team. Trump. <laughs> I'm going to say team. <laughs> I'm going to take Donald Trump for this trophy for this win today. <laughs> I say God. I'm going to go with God. I'm going to say they team. Because they, they usually think God. That's of course a, they do. But I'm going to say uh, team. team. Okay. No, I'm surprised family isn't on there. It, well, that's under everybody else. I think that's why. Oh, okay. Um, What color will the liquid be poured that on the winning coach? Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. The, um, we have clear, green, orange, Yellow, red, blue, or purple? First of all, no one does purple. No, have you ever seen grape Gatorade at a freaking football game? No. <laughs> I like the grape Gatorade. No, no, but you don't see that football. You okay. see, you see the neon green a lot and the yellow. That's whatever you want to call yeah, it. Lemon yellow. lime, yeah. Lemon lime, yeah. Oh man, I'm going towards. Well, see what's uh, weird. It says lime slash green, so I'm saying yellow is the lemon lime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so uh, what's yours? There's I like a weird it. watermelon flavor. But, like they don't <laughs> drink that. It's like the grape. Um, ooh, orange. I, I want to say I want to say lemon lime, but I'm leaning towards uh, the classic blue. Okay, I'm going orange. I'm going to go lemon lime, David. All right, so <laughs> the, yellow. The, the yellow slash green. <laughs> All right, so that my... radioactive <laughs> color that comes out of that bottle. <laughs> okay, so we got that. And then, um, okay, if the Patriots win, will Brady, Belichick, or Robert Kraft, who's the owner of the Patriots, be the first person to shake Roger Goodell's hand? Oh, like instead of like a random player that's standing next to well, them? Of those something? three, who will be the first person to oh, shake oh. his hand? Or, or I guess the, the other one here is no one, not and none of them will shake his hand. No, they're going to. I mean, it's well, 
Do you think there's still bad blood there? A big time, dude. Are you kidding Cause me? Because they, they uh, didn't they um there's didn't Kraft a- get hit with like five hundred million dollars? Oh, yeah. And ridiculous. they lost like draft picks and stuff like that. Big time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the thing: is that it, the reason why the people hate the Patriots is because they're so good. That's yeah. what sucks, and they cheat. But beside that, they they got caught cheating, but they're also really good. And it just sucks when it's like it's the guy that you play board games with or you play a game with, and like they talk crap. And like, no matter what you do, you cannot beat them. That's and they can always back it up too, yeah, right? Yeah, that's and the worst. Like, they, oh, they, man, they, yeah, they write the checks that their mouth cashes. So. Oh man, or the oh, I don't know which one. Yeah, David, what are you thinking? Time. I'm thinking Brady. Brady will be the first one because he. I think he. If he wins, he's like, yeah, thanks for the trophy, Goodell. Yeah, you know the four games I missed. <clears> that wasn't enough. <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, Belichick. Belichick. All right. All right. That's our Super Bowl prop bets. I am. I've heard that the the ratings are really down this year. They said that the the, the for price, the whole season, yeah, it's been well. Down. The, that and then like prices for the Super Bowl tickets. The after the first day they were sold, they already went down like fifty percent. Which you got to feel bad for the people who bought it originally. Except, wow, that's surprising. Yeah, because Super Bowl is Super Bowl, right? But yeah. I know like football's been down. Like they're they're trying to change the way like ads are played because a lot of people are being like, there's just so many freaking ads. Like there's a kick and there's an ad. There's oh, well, a timeout. There's an ad. It's well, just prob- too much. Well, I think here too, specifically the Super Bowl, a lot of reason why people watch it is for the ads and like they now show the ads before. No, no the I'm just Super talking Bowl. about the no, whole no, the whole season generally. But I'm saying like the cool part about the Super Bowl it used to be is like you get these ads that you've never seen and now they they show all of them before. Oh, they- mine, yeah. What's the point? Granted, I, I've stayed away from them because I want to watch them doing Super Bowl. Is that lame? But Same here. No, I did the same thing, but it's frustrating that it's like, come on. Come yeah. on. All right. So that's our kind of story of the week thing. Got the Super Bowl stuff going on. Congratulations to the team that won. Hopefully, it's not the Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's uh, let's uh, finish up the podcast with our top 100 movies of all time. The pinnacle, pinnacle of the pinnacle of filmical. Yes. Yeah, so, and we're back on track, folks. We're not going to be missing any more weeks. Uh, this week, we've got number 85. Yeah, the 2004 film Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. It's an action thriller. <laughs> Not an action thriller. What oh, is it? It is a romantic drama slash sci-fi. 